Hello everyone, I am the Ron and Only, and there's no boy I'd rather be, and welcome back to part 20 of my Let's Play of... Pokemon Shield for Nintendo Switch. Last time in part 19... We journeyed from Spikemouth, where we took on the Pokemon Gym there, the Dark-type Gym, um, facing off against Marnie's brother, which was kind of like, wow, hello, Marnie has a brother, really awesome. Um, and he wants her to take over the Gym, but she can't when she's a champion. So uh, we then uh, travelled down Route 9, where a, a Gigantamax Pokemon um, appeared on a bridge uh, on Route 7 outside the, the Route 9 tunnel. Uh, and but it was okay, Leon defeated him, or well, defeated it even, uh, and then we journeyed into Hammerlock where we finally took on the final gym, uh, Pokemon gym, the uh, Hammerlock Stadium where we took on Raihan and his dragon type Pokemon after a gruelling fight might I add, uh, I was unprepared let's say, <laughs> to say the least, um, and now we're heading towards Hammerlock Station to go towards um, the, the the Champion Cup to go towards Winden, where the Champion Cup's going to ha happen. Um, whilst also at the same time, a bunch of Pokemon are randomly uh, Dynamaxing uh, outside of you know dens and what have you. So that's kind of interesting. Um, so let's uh, let's get grooving. Everyone's waving us off. What a match! The best battle of this year. I'll be cheering for you during the semi-finals! Let's go, Ronnie! Let's go! Yeah, let's go! Uh, also, off-screen, I uh, did some training. As you can see, the entire team is around level 50 areas, and you probably should have healed Copper Jewel. Um... Wait up, Ronnie! I'm coming too! I had right hand beat me in... I had right hand beat in no time! Once I got my head on straight and stopped doubting every decision I made, that is. Huh. And you never stop nat and you never stop nattering on <laughs> and you never stop nattering on through the entire battle. You're pretty different from the champion in that. But your strength is genuine, as proven by the dragon badge you won from me. You came at me with all the force of a raging storm, and even I was blown away. Listen up, you two. Battle your way through the Champion Cup tournament to face Leon. One of you ought to. I reckon I'm still the favourite to win, but I'm up against my true rival, Ronnie. So I'll ring out every last thing I learned during my battle with you, Raihan, to beat him. So get a move on, Ronnie. The train's waiting. We finally, we finally headed for Winden. There's a lot I want to check out there. There's a big tower and the monorail and Winden Stadium where the whole of Gala, no, the whole world is going to be watching us. Yes, look at the emotion I'm spirit. You get it, right? Me and me are going to make our match. They're the greatest match there ever was. <laughs> it's going to be the very best. Like no match ever was. Ba -ba -ba -da. I wonder what scenery would appear if all the snow on Route 10 melted away. Snow! Do I eat a body thing? Probably some Ultra Balls. Probably some Full Restores. Oh, yes. What about Full Heals? I've got. Oh, one more won't hurt. Pokey Dolls have got plenty. Let's go! Make your way to Winden. Route 10. This is Route 10. It's like a war made out of snow. Bet there'll be ice-type Pokemon crawling out of the woodwork in a place like this. Come on, Ronnie. Reckon we'll be able to train ourselves up to new heights here before the Champion Cup starts. I have even myself and the Pokemon on my team, and I know we'll get loads stronger. So I'm off. See you in Winden. Uh, see you in Winden, mate. Snow. 
two X attacks right there. Nice bench to sit on. Some Snovers, some Cub Chews. We've caught these Pokemon before. Anything new? Let's find out. Right on. Uh, I've already caught one of these because I caught it in the wild area off screen. But it is a uh, round type. Uh, and rock type Pokemon as well. Good spot to train. People to learn foul play. Ooh. Your attack is higher than your special attack. That is true. Mm, no, maybe not. I forgot how much recoil damage Woodhammer does. <laughs> Need to heal up poor Reelaboom. Okay, let's take on first trader on this route. Do you have any any injured Pokemon? I am a doctor. Doctor Who. Dum -da -dum, dum -da -dum, dum -da -dum, dum -da -dum. Doctor Graham. Doctor Graham. And his God of War. Na -na -na. Uh, psychic Fairy. Gonna be hard to take down. Mm, probably not a great idea. I meant to go for peepers. This may hurt. Oh, let's go for Calm Mind, okay. But we are Poison type and it is Psychic Fairy, so this is probably also a bad choice. Yep, Special Tech Rose. Yep. Both get a bit buffeted by Hail. Uh, this should knock it out in one go, right? Because we are like 10 levels high. Yeah, there we go. Okay, wide for nothing. Dr. Graham. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? There's Pokemon everywhere. What's this? My Pokemon ended up, in, ended up injured. A strong predator like you has, has probably seen many injured Pokemon. Must be pretty tough. Oh. Yeah, kind of. Whoa, look at this. Giant hill and... Only do what you can. Taking risks while mountain climbing is dangerous. It's like, look at you. You're Hiker Douglas. You're, you're, you're prepared for this. You've got the gloves on. You've got the thermal vest on. You've got the snow goggles on. Look at me. i just got a hoodie and a, and a woolly hat. Set out Steelix. Ground and steel type? Uh, yeah, ground and steel type, so... Copy jaw will do. Can be buffeted by hail. I didn't know that. Dango still in one hit. We're a one hit wonder. Got another Pokemon on his team. Uh, Mudsdale. Ground type. Well, let's send out a. Dreadnought, why not? You got some good new, uh, some new moves I want to test out. It's eighty-five. Let's try it. Liquidation. Nice, down in one hit.
Pika Douglas. You won't be able to beat a strong opponent without pushing the limits of what's possible. Go beyond Class Ultra! Uh, he's, basically, he's basically all might. <laughs> Is that a new Pokemon? Look at this! Galarian! <gasps> Mr. Mime! Amazing! Look at him go! Look at his little dancing feet! Oh my god, he's a ice type, I presume? Running along quick balls. Oh, crook doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Crit critical capture. That it broke free of. What? Thinking about camping. Uh, okay. Let's try an up for all. See what that'll do. That's good. That's bad. Ow. Freeze dry? Frozen? What? I was frozen today. Let's throw a Ultra Ball, see what happens. This is a tough Mr. Mime. Yeah, Rita Boom was not a great idea. Uh, yes, use next Pokemon. Ice types. Oh, weak against. Rock types? Fighting types, yes. What should I use against you? Just try another Ultra Ball, see what happens. Are you also Psychic type as well, or not? Don't want to do a Rock Tomb and kill it. Go for that Sucker Punch. Damn it! Oh no, Mr. Mime, come back! I don't know you're typing now. Galarian Mr. Mime. That is very cool. I also prefer it in this state rather than its normal state. Mr. Mime like, always has creeped me out, so seeing it like as a happy dancing ice mime is kind of more awesome. Um... Let's have Dreadnought out from... There's an the Abominable Snow just chilling out. A bunch of Sneasel. I want another Mr. Mime! I get a feeling we're going to be stuck here for a while hunting for Mr. Mimes. So, note to self. Ice types are weak against rock types, so we need to find another Mr. Mime. There's one. There's a little snob. There he is. Look at his tie as well. He's so cool. Um. Okay. Yeah, not gonna lie, I'm fanboying over this new Mr. Mime. Oh wait, it's a female. I don't want to. I want a f male Mr. Mime, not a female Mr. Mime. Okay. Going for that freeze dry. Oh, because we're rock type. We're also weak against ice. I am choosing not great type. Okay, let's just kill this thing. <laughs> Apparently, Mr. Bime, Mr. Mo Mr. Mime, are abundant on this route.
Obama Snow. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, Obama Snow. <laughs> Obama Snow. Oh, I haven't actually caught one of you. That's interesting. A ice and grass type Pokemon, evolution of Snover. I think I've caught a Snover. You're part grass type. I'm still weak to Rock Tomb. Oh, I killed you. Well, there's another one just over there, so I'm just gonna. <laughs> I can always catch another one. What about Mr. Mime? Let's try catching this one. Lots of Pokemon on this route, so it's like a quite big route anyway, so I might not stick to this one patch of grass. Yay! A, a bomber snow was caught. Everyone's getting some levels. Frost tree Pokemon. Very cool. Very always like to bomber snow. This is trainer tips and another Mr. Mime. So let's uh, let's keep going down this route. Because if we stay here all, all the time, we're going to be stuck here forever. I get more nervous about battles than work. Office worker Ronald. <laughs> hey, Ronald, Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronald. Ronald, uh, Ronnie is a nickname of Ronald, by the way. It, it can be a nickname for someone called Ronald, um, and that's where my name comes from. Uh, Weavile, evolution of. Uh, I was going to say Snivel? Sneasel. Take down one hit. Claydo, psychic ground type. Let's just switch to. Uh, Peepers, why not? Level 58, or still on high horsepower. Ooh. Yas. When I do business, I'm called a businessman. So when I battle, I should be called a battleman. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Loads of trainers on this route. Comet Shard. Postman, the post. I wonder just how long it, we can keep on carrying letters like this. I mean, most guys have a van now. Postman Harper. Postman Harper. Postman Harper. Postman Harper. And he's Pelipper. <laughs> it's a flying water type. That's okay, I'm a water rock type. We'll get gits, but a shove. It's in a can. <laughs> Toxtricity goes to level 57. Noctowl. Keep out. Dreadnought. He's taking butt at the moment. Taking down all these ice types. Taking down these. Other types. <laughs> Quick will hit nice as well. That's what I like to see, Dreadnor. You are doing amazing. I lost when I think about it. I didn't want it to ever end. Ah, Why are so angry, though? Not an angry postman. Do you know the old legend that says that, that Gala is doomed if Corviknight ever disappear? I did not know that. Cabby Jeffrey. Jeffrey? Sends out Corviknight.
flying and steel type. We should know, we've got one on our team. Uh, yes. Let's go Toxtricity. You swagger, which is not very helpful. Raises our attack, but confuses us. And buffeted by hail. Let's go for another overdrive. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Down in one hit. And a critical hit. Nice. Dreadnought goes to level 57. We'll slam body slam. Hmm. Ooh, nah, yeah, let's get rid of Jawlock. Wasn't really using it anyway. Flygon, Dragon and Ground type. Uh, let's try Frostmoth. Defeated Cabby Jeffrey. I actually don't know much about the old Corvenite legend. Hmm. Let's ask him and find out. I pride myself on my strong Corvenite that carries customers while flying. Nope, leave me alone, Sneasel. Leave me alone. There's a bear tick. <laughs> leave me alone, Sneasel. Now, there was a Mr. Mime over here the last time I saw it. Power Herb. Hmm. Get so many levels. Are you a male Mr. Mime? Are you a Mr. Mr. Mime? Yes! Okay. Quick ball. Let's go. Son of a bitch. Okay. Doing this the hard way. Oh, doing this the very hard way, Mr. Mime. That wasn't cool. You got five of those. Yeah, there we go. Mr. Mime was caught. Galarian Mr. Mime. Dancing Pokemon. Ice and Psychic type. It can radiate chillness from the bottom, bottom of its feet. It'll spend the whole day tap dancing on a frozen floor. Pokedex updated. Awesome. We're just giving Mr. Name, Mr. Mime a nickname. Yeah, why not? Because you know who he reminds me of? He's a clown. An ice clown. Joker. Very awesome. And there's a bear tick there. Let's catch us a bear tick as well. Sup, Mr. Bear tick. Evolution of Cub Chew. I think it's a ice fighting type, but I think it might just be a pure ice type as well. Nice. Bear tick was caught. Oh, just an ice type. We can catch the Ruladon and that penguin on this route. I want to find those guys. There's a Pokemon camp here. If you need it. Uh, nah, let's keep battling trainers. Wow, a Pokemon trainer. What should I do? I don't really want to battle. So you don't have to. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Hiker Donald. 
And it's Giglyph. Giglyph. Rock type Pokemon should and Dragon. I don't think it is. It's finished. I don't think it is Dragon type. Okay, so I have one hit. Frostbox goes to level 57. And next is Rhydon. Now you might be wondering, oh wait, one of you, you have been, hit, have been getting hit by Hail and um, Sandstorm. Uh, what gives? Uh, that's because I gave Dreadnought the uh, weather goggles, whatever they're called. The um, combat goggles. They basically stop weather affecting uh, damage happening to Dreadnought. I could Donald. I think I got mixed up somewhere around my first Pokemon. You don't want to battle me in the first place, you didn't have to battle me. I lost, but there was a lot that I learned, so in that way I actually won. And knowing is half the battle, you just basically G.I. Joe'd yourself. The way you carry yourself, you are something. I, that is true, sir, I am something. I, everyone's a something. Gentleman Glenn. So it's like his Diamond Atom, which is probably the Ice type, the Galarian version. Look at that throw. Such an awesome throw. Uh, should be just a pure Ice type, maybe it is Psychic as well. I've got one Rock Tomb left. Really use those up. Next is Phalanx, Fighting type. Uh, uh, hmm. What beat fighting again? I want to say Fairy does. I get the feeling it doesn't. I'm gonna find out. Oh, I want to be paired. Yeah, there we go. Fairy type. Boom. Nice. Free bring with level 57. See that buff Peepers is buffeted by hail and a Graplock. Well, let's keep battling. Spirit Break do it does Okay, less damage, but better accuracy. My team is growing awesome. Oh, your Pokemon are simply marvellous. Thank you. They are something. Oh, it's you again. It's been a while. I'm glad we can meet up again. Let's see how strong you've gotten. Great Pokemon and trainers are really shine with something special when they're on camera. I f I'm so nervous when I'm on camera. Oh my god. You're challenged by interviewers Jillian and Cam. Helios, Helios, Helios. Helio isk. Helio Lisk. And Kling Kling. Uh, one is a. Steel type. The other is a normal electric type. Um. I need a Pokemon with fighting type moves on my team. Down one hit, wow.
Noivern, Dragon and Flying type. Let's do Overdrive. Let's see what Uproar does. Screech is gonna not be great. Super Fang, okay. <laughs> in one hit with that. That's amazing. Copper Jaw on Peeps goes to level 59. Next is Toad Digimaru. Uh, electric and uh, steel type. <laughs> Toxtricity took out in one crickle hit anyway. What's Trink? I must have lost for words. Nice work, everyone. I lost, but it's all right. I was able to assess your strength. Maybe I need to switch out someone. Okay, that'll do. I'm gonna come up to the end. Okay, let's. No, still got a bit of a way to go. Okay. Uh, uh, up one. Wow. There's Winden. Right here. That's kind of an awesome sight to see. Look at that. It's just a straight line to Winden. No more catching Pokemon. So I want to try go back and try and catch. Who else can we catch on this route? Uh, route. Um, on this route, we can catch a Darunodon and the penguin thing. Only on this route, wow. I kind of want a Darunodon, still and dragon type, very cool. Okay, give me one second, I'll be right back. Aha! Ice Skew! Should be Ice... Well, it can't be a fly type. Penguins don't fly. So <laughs> Ignore me! Let's catch this penguin! Ah, oh, come on, man! A critical hit. Let me guess. Frozen Solid 2? No. Buffeted by Hell, though. Okay. Um... My ski was caught. Pure ice type penguin Pokemon. This Pokemon keeps its heat sensitive head cool with ice. It fish, fishes for food, dangling a single hair into the sea to lure in prey. Awesome. Okay, so I just looked it up um, on my phone how to get catch Darunodon on this route. On route 10, it has a 1% chance of spawning in the overworld between levels 45 and 48. Uh, so we could spend, I'm, I might just spend a few time, what time is it now? I might just try and find it off screen. Um, and then when I find it, restart the, the recording. 
Um, cause it's gonna take me a while just to get a 1% chance on the overworld on this route. So, um... There it is! <laughs> I love that. 1% chance. It's like, I'm just gonna, it's gonna take me forever to find it off screen. And there it is. It just shows up as I'm talking. That's effing brilliant. Right, quick ball you. And with critical capture as well. Come on. Ah, oh, I was gonna say, what are the odds? <laughs> so it's a steel and dragon type. Uh, I've technically fought one before, so let's see if it what comes up if I try and attack it. Yes, perfect. Okay. I might just try and ultra ball it and just keep throwing balls at it, maybe. Not liking it though. I hope it can't run away. It's raising this defense, which is good. You keep doing that, buddy. I wonder if I can. Sh sh I wonder if the heavy ball will work. Never mind. <laughs> Dude, the drum was caught. Awesome. I like that. 1% chance of catching it. Literally, as I'm talking it, I find one. Steel and Dragon Alloy Pokemon. The special metal that composes its body is very light, so this Pokemon can has considerable agility. It lives in caves because it dislikes the rain. Oh, Excellent. Great job on filling your Pokedex. There's still a lot of Pokemon that you can haven't caught. Let's catch more Pokemon. Let's end this route and go to Winden. Oh my god. Uh, I wanna first hit up the team though. And let's go up this hill one more time. At the top, we rise to the city of Winden. Just a straight road on to the final city and the Champion Cup. Look at this place, it's huge! Wow, 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 wow. Holy crap! It's huge! Look at this place, and it's like, it's it's London, come on, look at that. Big Ben, it's got the London, yeah, it's got the, the, the London Eye, it's got the Shard Tower, oh my god, so London it hurts. Look at that, and Wembley Stadium. <laughs> That's amazing. Look at this place! And, the, and it has like a monorail, but the monorail and double decker buses, that's... Oh, oh my god, yes. Oh right, Winden City! This is the place where I become a legend at last! You get it, don't you mate? After all, I'm about to become the new champion of the Gala region. That's it, I'm headed straight for Winden Stadium. Don't waste too much time, Ronnie. You should head there yourself. That is very true, Hop. But I think... Next time. Actually, the route was pretty... Where are you running off to? This is, this is seems to be checking my town map. Where are you running off to? Little girl just running away from city. Um, route 10 was pretty short. So just, let's, let's just explore. The little kid running away too. Yay, I'm a Charizard! I'm oh, such a weird kid. Uh, wow, this Pokemon is huge! It's a Mudsdale, it's pretty big. Hey, Mudsdale. I'm glad we live in a world where I can coexist with a giant Pokemon like this. This is, uh, okay, you're just running around in circles now. This Mr. Mime's name, this Mr. Mime's name is Marcel, it's really amazing. Mime, Mime, Mime. I'm taking as many pictures as I can, they're like the slices of time, little slices of time, they are. 
I feel like my Pokemon always smells when he takes photos together. He even says cheese. Pokemon trainers are really amazing. I mean, they can compete on the world stage. You can tell Leon absolutely loves to battle. Just look at his smile. And look where we are. We are at Winden Stadium. Uh, we're in, well, Leicester Square. It's, it's you know, uh, Trafalgar Square, even. Got Trafalgar in the middle and the lions running outside. But this time it's the uh, it's the birds. It's the Corviknights. Uh, Rookie D, Corvisquire. I don't know what this Pokemon is, though. Or this Pokemon. They don't look like Corvisquire. Is there a different variants, male and female version? Maybe I'm just being weird. It's the same Pokemon from a different angle. It's the same Pokemon from a different angle. Okay, I'm being weird. Um, I don't know where to go next. Welcome to this modern city of Winden. This booming metropolis was designed and developed by our own Chairman Rose. There's a road going off this way. And look at all those houses I can explore and go into and barge my way in. People just sitting on the fountain. It's not it must be nice to be a supporter of someone. It's not easy to be so dedicated to a stranger. It's very true. What does this old man got to say? If you're sitting, you have to stand up eventually, right? In the same way, even if you're defeated. So you're not you got back up on your feet. That is very true. <laughs> and there's a phone booth, like a London phone booth, like, oh my god. I'm loving this place. Let's head leftward first and start exploring this amazing city. And here we are in, uh, uh, God, I can't remember it's called now, um, Leicester Square. Yeah, I think where all the TVs are and stuff like that. Kind of like Times Square in New York, but the L London version of it. <laughs> I can't even keep my siblings under control. I don't think I can handle raising six Pokemon. Oh, there's an item over here. Max survive, nice. Who's on the phone? Let's go to see if we can... Hello? Yeah, I've got tickets on for the front row seats in the stadium. Come on over. How many companies does Mr. Rose own again? Mr. Rose used the power of his company to turn the city into a tourist spot about, but without ruining the historical buildings and streets. There's a coffee shop. Welcome to the Battle Cafe. If you can battle here once a day, if you win, I'll give you a treat on the house. Do you want to battle? Yeah, yes. Okie dokie, let's have a break. Cafe Master Richard. Slurp up and Al Creamy. Two fairy type Pokemon. Look at Al Creamy. Very cool. Uh, let's just do uproar. And we'll do heavy slam on that Al Creamy. Comes a flamethrower. What? I wasn't expecting that. That's a gleam. Good thing we're heavier. Now it's called you're heavier than a slurpuff. Keep going for that flamethrower. It's gonna go into Copper Jaw now. Ow! Not great. Nice, Dango Slurpuff. Cafe Master Richard. <laughs> I hope that battle was a complex, bitter experience for you. Kind of was. That was a battle as exciting as a glass of pineapple juice. Here's a treat I promised. Let me guess, it's pineapple juice. Oh, a flower sweet. So I guess it's the items to evolve Milsery into al different Al Creamies. No. <laughs>
Okay, let's go to the shop. It's time for a shopping montage. Woo! Yeah, awesome. I'm gonna stick with my original look for now. Uh, do we need to get a haircut? I don't think so. No more shops on this route. Okay. On the side of the street, anyway. Look at that awesome picture of Score Bunny on the Pokeball. Looks so good. I presume that's the train station over there. Anyway, let's go. Oh my god, there's so many houses. What's over this? Fl flying lost in Wyndham's winding street. You used the city's dedicated flight taxes on the mon or the monorail. What's over here? It's like a little park. That's kind of cute. Much obliged. Hmm. There's a Pokeball over there. Let's see if we can get to it. Love me a good hedge maze. Grassy seed. Okay. Boost defense on grassy terrain. A rare candy. Is there anything over here? Hmm. Guess not. Oh, a Pokemon battle! Awesome! I'll use my speed Pokemon to defeat any Pokemon that try to change the weather. Right hand likes to use Sandstorm first. Moves that only select Pokemon can learn. They are called ultimate moves. Yes. So, read a move then. <laughs> For Frenzy Plant. Ooh. Does one... F mm. Magical Leaf, I guess. I don't really use it that often. Cool, we can now, Reuben can now use Frenzy Plant. Oh my god, look at all these houses. We have to go into every single one of them. Okay, I'm gonna cut away. If I find anything interesting, I'll let you know. But otherwise, let's explore every single one of these amazing houses. Okay, League Staff Isaac has different forms of Rotom for you to battle. Rotom Lawnmower type. Um, it's a grass type. Level 34, okay. So it's an electric grass type. Or ghost grass? Yeah. And that's where we don't have cans whilst we record. <laughs> uh, bug buzz. P 
Pipper's Crusade level 60, first Pokemon 2. And another Rotom, I'm guessing it's going to be like the water or fire one, so... We'll take our bets. Ah, fire one! Hit as well, nice. Toxtricity is good to level 59, so next is the water one. Or it could be the air one, because there's also, uh, there's also one that's a fan, so. The air one, the fl flying one, you know what I mean. It is a water one. It's the washing machine. Overdrive. It resisted, which is odd. I didn't know it could resist. But Roshan changes its type and moves when it changes its form. Every one of my Pokemon Rotom, you should be able to put this to catalog to good use. The Rotom catalog, you can now change your Rotom. Uh, catalog devices that like Rotom like. Use a catalog to have Pro Rotom hop in and out on various devices with live spin. If you use the Rotom catalog, it will let Rotom enter all sorts of home appliances. Oh, and of course, Rotom, Rotom can get out again. I just need a Rotom first. Unless it means the one on my phone. over here champions match look at the rivers the river Thames Found like look at that like dude that's so awesome like just look at that man The monorail on London double decker buses. There's Big Ben, the London Eye. Oh my god, I got like feels right now, man. We saw you twice. A blob of black sludge. Wouldn't be the terms about a blob of black sludge. So, what is this then? A battle tower? Listen to my sister, she's just making things up. Isn't this a huge Ferris wheel? It's known as a Gala Hurricane. <laughs> Bridges connect two separate things, so they can be seen as symbols of friendship too. And you can ride the monorail. Do I want to ride the monorail? I don't know if I want to or not. There's an item over here, air balloon. Can I go in the phone booth? I want to go in the phone booth. I can change my job or even my home, but I can't change my favourite challenger and my favourite Pokemon. If you want to get around, Wyndon, you've come to a right flying taxi governor. Where'd you like to go to? I thought that was nice and back here. Big nugget. You can sell that for lots of money. Pokemon that work in the hotels and Pokemon that participate in battles. I do have such sharp looks at them. When I see the truly bangs in battle, it fills my whole body. So this is the battle tower, I guess? Yeah, it looks that way. Unless it's a really awesome hotel. Welcome! Being a dorm is a lot of work. It doesn't matter how many people come and go. Mistakes are unacceptable. That's why we have Pokemon helping out too. The... Welcome! 
I was invited by Macrocosmos to come watch the matches. So this is a hotel. The Rose of the Roadlands. We pride ourselves on offering five-star service that is beyond we is beloved throughout the world. How do I... Can I explore you or not? Okay, guess not. I guess this is where we stay when, when we're doing the... Um, Wind and Cup. The Champion Cup, even. Uh, let's go ride the model wheel. Ah, uh, uh, uh. oh, doesn't actually show it. Come on, man. Ah, oh, sucks. So according to this, you can't reach Rose Town unless you take the monorail. Ziggy! My heck of love music more than just about anything else. When you're hearing anything with a sick beat, you can't stand still. They're off like a shot. I just want to trade and get a trade in there, but... I was going to take the monorail. I thought it was going to be a cute little cutscene. That's not fair. Hey, we could eat. Okay. There's only one way to go, and that's upward. <laughs> Official merchandise here for the Champion Cup. There's Team Yell causing trouble as always. We're gonna stay out of trouble this time. Oh, I mean, we can't watch the matches. We can watch the. We want to watch the matches too. We'll show you the full power of Team Yell. There's a flying taxi and the wind stay as and, and the monorail as well. So you can go to take the monorail here. And there's a Pokemon Center. We've arrived here at Winden Stadium, and I think next time we'll take on. The, our final gym challenge, the Champion Cup, right here at Winden Stadium. Uh, but for now, we have explored the entirety of Route 10 uh, and the entirety of the starting point area, anyway, of Winden. And now, there's nothing but to do, is to go into Win Winden Stadium and begin our Pokemon League HQ challenge and take on the Champion Cup. And we'll do that next time in part 21. But for now, I have been the one and only, and there's no way I'd rather be, and you've been watching part 20 of my Let's Play of Pokemon Shield for Nintendo Switch. Don't forget to give a like, comment, share, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time, trainers.